It is time for your favorite with your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word in the Morning with your host brother Oscar York Divorce, where we are praying up and praising up and putting that all important snap crackle and pop in your Christian morning. Thank you. Without the talk, what is your call? Know that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know. Oh, all right, all right. 
right. Amen. Amen. And amen. That was the late Johnny Wilder Jr. And he was singing, What is your goal? What is your goal, my friend? Is your goal going to heaven? Oh, you've been taken in by what the world is thinking, and they have clouded your way of going to heaven. Good morning, everyone. We're so delighted to be with you this morning here on Chatting from the Word, where we are praying up and praising up and putting that all, all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning, and we are so delighted, yes we are, we are so, uh, so delighted to do just uh, that this morning, yes we are, yes we are, we hope that you keep your ears on this morning, through the entirety of the program, do you have your ears on this morning? We hope that you do, and you're ready to hear another episode from us this morning here on Chatting from the Word. Amen and amen. We hope everyone had a good holiday yesterday. <laughs> Almost forgot what day it was yesterday. It was Monday, Labor Day, and we took a day off to here on Chatting from the Word. But this morning, we are back and ready to praise the Lord with you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to praise the Lord? Oh, my friend, let's get ready to praise the Lord this morning. Give him some of that love he's been uh, given to us all this time. Amen. And amen, and amen, and amen. And we hope that you had a good weekend. We hope that Sunday, last Sunday, that you got a chance to go praise the Lord. Give him some of that love that he's been giving to us all this time. Amen, and amen. It was the psalmist who said these words, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Oh, my friend, the Lord has given us all another benefit of another beautiful day. A day on yesterday was not promised, but because, because he loved us so, he made it where we that on the top soil and not the soil on top of us. We that on this time side of life are blessed with another beautiful, beautiful day, my friend. He has given you and me another chance, another chance, another chance. Yes, he has to make us wrong in our lives right and to walk closer and closer with him. Yes, he has. Amen. And amen, 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 <laughs> amen, amen, amen. And we here on Chatting from the Word, we hope that you take advantage of each day, each second, each minute, each hour that the Lord has given you to make what's wrong your life right and to walk closer and closer with Him. Amen, amen, and amen. I don't know about you this morning, but Brother Oscar, he is so blessed, so happy this morning to be able to wake up this morning to praise, praise the Lord. I can't speak for you. <laughs> I sure can't. But I can speak for me. I am so thankful that the Lord has woke me up, and we hope you feel the same. We hope that you feel the same on this beautiful, beautiful day. Amen. Praise, praise, and praise the Lord on this beautiful, beautiful morning. Yes, yes, the weather people says, the weather people says that it is 60 degrees and sunny 
uh, 60 degrees and sunny. And it's cool out there. Yes, it is. It is cool out there, Dayton, Ohio, West Carrollton, Ohio. We are having a beautiful, I guess, fall like day. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. And I had to go out in it this morning. I had to run an errand before the program. I thought I would make it back, but Brother Oscar is here. And it feels good to me. It really do. It feels good to me. Kind of cool, but that's all right. I, I love it when it's cool like this. Not too hot and not too cold. Amen and amen. And my friend, if you need to be out in the elements of things, if you need to be out going to the store, going to work, going shopping, going to school, wherever you're going, if you need to be out in the element of things, be careful, be careful, be careful, because, my friend, we do live in dangerous and treacherous times with so much going on, with all the mass killings, road rage, and whatnot. It is so much that is going on, so we need to be watchful, we need to be careful, and as we state, as we state sealed, chatting from the word, we need to stay praying up and praising up this morning. And we hope that you are doing that if you need to be out in the element of things. Be careful. Stay praying up and praising up on this beautiful, beautiful day. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. That's right, that's right. You are listening to Chatting from the Word, and we're so thankful that you are listening, and we hope that you keep your ears on to the entirety of the program. And you all who've been listening to us quite some time, we just want to thank you for being in the audience and for listening. And you all especially, you all are listening to us live. We want to thank you for listening to us live and being in the audience. And we know when you listen to us live, you may get a different feeling from when you listen to us pre-recorded. So we're so thankful that you are, that you are uh, listening and that you uh, keep your ears on and the main part of the program today. And you all who listen, just listening for the first time, we want to welcome you to the program. Yes, we do. We want to welcome you to the program, but we want to do more than that. We want to honor you this morning. Because you do have your ears on for the first time, and we would love to make you this morning our honorary guest, thanking you for having your ears on. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Amen. And, uh, amen. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, and Thank you. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. Yes, yes, yes. You're listening to Chatting from the Word, and we hope you love what you're listening to. We do. We really do. We hope that you love what you're listening to, and we hope that you keep your ears on through the entirety of the program, at least until we get to the chat part of the program. And as I continue stating, the chat part of the program is my favorite part of the program where we're chatting with you about the word and from the word. Now, and our lesson today in our chat is we, we are going to be talking about the one husband. The one husband, and we're coming from 2 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. 2 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, verses 1 through 10. And if you've been with us quite some time, you know we've been doing a, a study of the Letters that Brother Paul the Apostle wrote to the Corinthian church. And at this time, we're in the second letter that Brother Paul the Apostle wrote to the Corinthian church. And this morning, we're going to be talking about the one husband. The one husband. And in so many ways, I am so delighted that we are talking about the one husband because so many today in the world are very confused when it comes to the church, the body of Christ, of being unity in the bond of peace. And that's what we're going to talk about this morning. So we're going to hit Second Corinthians 11, 1 to 10, and Ephesians, I believe Ephesians 
also Ephesians 5 this morning. So we hope, my friend, that you keep your ears on long enough to hear the chat. Amen. Amen. listening to chatting from the word. Yes, yes, yes. You're listening to us this morning. <laughs> yes, you are. And we hope that you have your ears on. We hope that you keep your ears on through the entirety of the program. And if you love the program, share this program with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbors, and those that you're partner up with on Facebook, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, Instagram, or YouTube. Share this program. And if you wonder where you can hear the program, here's our announcer to allow you to know where you can listen to the program. If you're wondering where to listen to the program, of course you can Google our program chatting from the word hosted by Oscar Hall. You can pull up many of our internet networks, iHeartRadio, 45, Google Podcast, Fraker, and many, many more if you want to catch or listen to our program. Amen! Amen! And amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe we just had a station break. The seat, the brakes are running kind of crooked here, but <laughs> crooked. <laughs> but we would just have a station break, and if you wanted them to hear the station break, well, thank you for returning back and listening to us here on Chatting from the Word, because we are still here. And if you wonder how, where you can listen to the show live, of course, you can listen to the show live on... Uh, Spreaker platform, platform that we are coming on. Uh, you can listen to us through Twitter, Tumblr, and YouTube. If you want to catch us live and many more where we are coming on live this morning. Amen. And uh, a amen. This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to our email addresses, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or chatting from the Word at gmail.com, or you can put it on our messenger page on Facebook page on any page that you're listening to the program through, and we should be able to receive your prayer request. <laughs> Oh, 
And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Words, you can send it to those entities our announcer continue on announcing. And if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that's fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality. Just as we say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name, and I'd be just so delighted and so pleased to do just that. Again, this is our prayer time, and we need to keep in our prayers those that have been requested prayers from time to time, and those that lost loved ones, and those that are sick and shed in, and those that are going through some pain, and those that are going through some problems due to other elements now in their lives. And of course, keep on asking your prayers too for his loss of his son. And I want to thank everyone who has prayed for me. And I want to thank you uh, very, very much for that. My friend, if you have a copy of God's Word and want to read along with us during our prayer time scripture, our prayer time scripture would be taken from Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6, verses uh, 18, 19, 20, and uh, 21. Here, the Apostle Paul writes, Praying always with all prayer and supplications in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints, and for, all, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but that ye also may know my affairs and how I do. This because a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord shall make known to you all things whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose that ye may know our affairs, and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to you, peace be to the brethren, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love the Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. And uh, Amen. Here Paul tells us to pray. Pray always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Pray. 
pray and pray. My friend, are you ready to approach the door of grace so that we may have a little talk with our Father this morning? Are you ready? Let's talk with the Father in humble submission. Our Father, our Father who sits high and looks low, Oh, Father, we come to you this morning in the humblest way we know how, being in submissive to you, recognizing, Father, how great you are. But because of your mercy and your love and your tender kindness towards us and your grace, Father, we, we just thank you this morning. Yes, we do, Father. And, Father, we want to thank you for uh, the benefit of another beautiful day, this day that you have allowed us to see. Weed on this time, child of life. We that, that, that have opened our eyes this morning. Father, we just want to thank you this morning for giving us another chance. Another chance to make us draw our lives right and to walk closer and closer with you. Father, we want to thank you once again for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to come down from the beauty of heaven, down to the sin-sick world, to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to connect with you. Oh, Father, we thank you so much, so much for that. And Father, we thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to take upon himself the cross, dying on the cross, taking our place, becoming sin, so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, so much for that. Father, we thank you for allowing salvation to be brought down. Oh, Father, without salvation, where would we be this morning? Without grace, Father, where would we be this morning? So, Father, we thank you for your love, for your grace this morning, for your word this morning, which is Christ. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for those that have been touched with all the disasters that has gone on in this world today. All the earthquakes, storms, fires, Father, we pray for those that have been affected. Father, we pray that, that you will help them to continue on looking up to you from whence come at their help. And Father, we pray for those that have been caught, been touched by these road rages and mass killings. Father, we pray that you will help them to look up to you and pull up from the ashes. Father, we pray for all the nations that are caught up in wars this morning. Father, we pray that they may find that peace and that peace that brings about unity and an understanding. Father, we pray for every man, woman, boy, and girl who's searching for you, Father. We pray that they get the opportunity to find you, to love you, and to be added to the body of Christ. Oh, Father, 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 we pray this morning. We just thank you this morning. Yes, we do, Father. We thank you this morning. Yes, we do, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Father, we pray for those that are shut in. We pray for those that are sick. We pray for those that are lost loved ones, that you put your loving arms around them. Father, we pray for those that are lost loved ones. Do that. Due to the hands of the police, Father, we pray that you will protect them and comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer who have given their lives in the line of duty. Father, we pray for their families that you be with them and help them through, help them through, Father, their grief and comfort them too. Father, we pray for all of our political leaders, Father. Father, we pray, Father, that they never make laws during us from worshiping you in spirit and truth, but make laws so we all can live in peace and in harmony. Father, Father, we pray for the church once again. Allow the church to continue on being a lighthouse, leading others to Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Father, 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 we pray for all of our listeners this morning. Father, we pray for all their doubts and fears. Father, we pray that you cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they won't resurface any more. Father, Father, we pray, Father, yes, we do, Father. Father, we pray for our program this morning. Father, we pray that you will help us to keep this fine program on the airways, Father. Father, we pray that you help us keep teaching and preaching your word, which is Christ. Oh, Father, 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 we pray. We pray, Father, for our message this morning. For our message this morning. The one husband. Father, we pray that you would help us to understand that we need to cleave and love the one husband, which is Christ, this morning. Oh, Father, just help us this morning to learn a lesson of unity and of oneness. Oh, Father, we pray for those that are going through some troubling times. Father, we pray for those that are having marital problems. Pray for those that are having problems in the home. Pray for those that have problems with their children. Pray for those that are having problems on the job. Pray for those that are having problems keeping a job. Pray for those that are having problems. Pray for those that are incarcerated. Father, we pray that you will help them to change their lives. Father, we pray for those churches fighting it hard to look into the law of liberty and do as you command. Father, we pray that they will do just that. And Father, Father, we pray for all the other uh, those that are trying to teach and preach your word worldwide. Father, we pray that they continue to preach your word regardless of what Satan may throw in their pathway. And for us always, we pray that you keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. We want to thank you for 
are reading our scripture text along with us or praying along with us. And as always, we hope that we prayed for something that is on your mind. And as we continue saying, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to those entities. Our announcer continue on announcing. Amen and amen. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. Yes, yes, yes. You're still listening to us. And we're so delighted uh, that you are listening. And we're so delighted uh, that you have kept your ears on to this portion of the program. And this is our chat time. And we hope that uh, you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> we really hope that you're still here and you're ready to chat about the Word and from the Word because uh, that's what our program is all about. It's chatting from God's Word uh, and to praise the Lord in the morning. And it's just a good thing to get up in the morning praising the Lord, starting the day off. Uh, praising the Lord, especially with the morning that we had here in Ohio, Session Dayton and West Carriage and the surrounding areas. Uh, we had some beautiful weather this morning. I usually don't be out in it, but I was out in it <laughs> this morning, and it felt good to me. And I, it just felt good to me. The sun was out, a brisk day, and it was just uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful to be out enjoying all the blessings that the good Lord has shined on, on us today. Amen, amen. We hope that you're enjoying God's blessings, too, as well. I was so, again, we're so thankful to be coming on. And as we stated in the beginning, we just hope that all had a good Labor Day. You enjoyed family, friends, and had a good meal, or whatever you do on Labor Day. We're so thankful that you enjoyed it. And the Lord has given us another day to come on and to talk about the beauty of Jesus Christ this morning. Yes, 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 the beauty of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. We hope that you allow the light of Christ this morning to shine on you. Amen. <laughs> are you letting the light of Christ shine on you this morning? We hope that you are. We hope that you are. And also keep continue praying for us here at loss of our son. Uh, we still in the process of trying to uh, give him a good going home. And so we're still in the process. We still have not uh, finished yet. It's still, uh, uh, lots of things are still depending. As in uh, depending on lots of things. So uh, just keep me in your prayers uh, this morning. Amen and amen and amen. Now, you know what Brother Oscar wants you to do, correct? Yes, we know, Brother Oscar. You want us to get relaxed. That's right. Get relaxed, get relaxed, get relaxed. I want you to get relaxed. Go ahead on and have your favorite beverage this morning. Coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, whatever it may be, and relax. Get relaxed, get relaxed. And if you're more relaxed in your reclining chair, recline on out. If you're more relaxed getting at, sitting at your dining table, go ahead on and have a seat. But what we request of you this morning is to have a copy of God's Word so that you may follow us in our chat or in our study uh, this morning because I'm the type of preacher, I'm the type of minister, I, would, I, I love for you to see and I believe that's the word I want to use where we're, we're coming from this morning. Yes, we do. We want you to see basically where we're coming from this morning and what we're studying from this morning because I'm like this. I'm not the type of minister that talk out my head and just tell you anything. I tell you something that sounds good because I love it, but I'm going to teach you what does says 
the Lord. Book it into the law of liberty to see what Jesus wants us to do today. And many of us, we are so confused when it comes to God's will. Most of us are still pondering and wondering what is God's will for us. And some of us just don't know. Because some of us, many of us are still pondering the fact of what is God's will for us, aren't we? Aren't we? And we're still doing that. But this morning, we're going to talk about his will for us. Because this morning, we want to talk about the one husband. The one husband. And Brother Paul, the apostle, state in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. I want to read a little bit of this. And we want to stop at verse 3 because I want to pinpoint verse 2 this morning. And we want to kind of sort of stay there right now in verse 2 for this morning. But let me read what Paul says here. Paul says, Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with a with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear, lest by any means all that all as the serpent begall Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. And here, Paul said, now, I'm jealous of you with a godly jealousy. Now, godly jealousy is different from being jealous. A godly jealous is telling them that, in, in one word, I, I'm proud of you, but in some words, I am so, in other words, Paul said, I am so glad that you understand the lessons that I'm teaching you. I'm so glad I was able to make you recognize that Christ is our husband, or some, uh, some may say husband tree, but God, and we need to recognize we only, when we're in Jesus Christ, we only have one, one husband, one husband tree, which is Christ Jesus. And many of us, uh, we're so confused, uh, if I may be able to use the term confused, when it talks about the oneness of Christ. And, and, and you may ask, now, now Brother Oscar, how do you know that many are confused when it comes to the subject of loving Christ? Well, look. All you need to do, my friend, is to look around. And you see so many denominations, so many t teaching differently, so many believing differently, so many that accepting things that is uh, foreign, uh, if I can use some foreign, to the teachings of Christ. Amen, Brother Oscar. Many are accepting things that Christ never said in his word. And many just don't know because many are led in the wrong uh, direction, in the wrong way. And many have been led that way for so long that they just don't know the right way to go. Men have been led 
in that in that way so long, they'll know the difference of uh, being a true child of God. Many have been led that way so long, they just don't know. And even if you try to tell them, even if you try to show them what the scriptures contained, they really don't want to accept it because their minds have been so seared into believing what they believe in. And some you won't never change unless they truly see the truth for themselves. And here Paul, and I want to read it again. Paul says, For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. In other words, I've, I've told you about Christ. I've taught you about the oneness of Christ. I've taught you about the unity in the bond of peace. I've taught you you cannot teach no other gospel but Christ. I've taught you to obey Christ. Okay? And this is what Apostle Paul is trying to convey to the uh, Corinthian church at this point here. Because as we go, turn with me quickly to Ephesians. The Ephesians, I want to start with Ephesians 5. But we know the book of Ephesians, Paul is talking about unity. Unity. In the book of Ephesians, Paul is talking about unity in the bond of peace. In the book of Ephesians, as you go to the Ephesian church, he's talking about unity in Christ. And we know in Ephesians 1, 22 and 23, Paul says these were 22 and 23. Well, let's start with 21. Paul says, For above all principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in the, this world, but also in that which is to come. And they have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all all things to the church. The church. That word be means one and only. The only one. Only one. And then says in verse 23, which is his body, the fullness of him that fulfilleth all and all. Here Paul is talking about unity and then we go to chapter 4 he talks about there is one body, one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. But unto every one of us, is giving peace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Amen, amen. Here Paul again is talking about oneness in Christ, oneness in God, oneness in the Father, oneness in Christ, oneness by the Holy Spirit to cause you to understand that unity and that oneness. And then chapter 5 is the part that I want to get to. Chapter 5, Apostle Paul, compare the relationship that we should have in him to the church. Although many of us, and of course we compare, some can compare it to their marriages, husbands and wives, 
But here, Paul, and I want to read it very, I want you to look at this very closely as I read it and as you are reading it along with me and as I uh, read it. Paul says, Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any other thing such things but that it should be holy and without blemish so might men so might men to love their so all men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever hate, yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall man leave his father and mother and shall be joined to his wife, and they shall be one flesh. But this, and I want you all to understand this, and Paul is saying this to the Spirit. God gave Paul this message, and Paul is saying, this is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. And that's why today many are confused when it comes to salvation. That's why today many are confused when it comes to unity. That's why many are confused when it comes to having one husband, which is Christ. Okay? Because to some, it's a great mystery. Some the church is still a great mystery because some is still teaching what they want to teach and call it the church. I'll call it a church, <laughs> if I can put it like that. But here, Paul is saying that the Christ is the husbandry, that Christ is a husband and if we recognize Christ if we're in his body if we're in the oneness of Christ we need to recognize the unity in the bond of peace the unity that brings all together and being in that unity we should be all teaching the same thing and that's what Paul said when we go back to 1 Corinthians one and ten that we teach the same thing and that there be no division among you. But my friend, the church today, even in the body of Christ, we are divided. We are teaching something differently. And if we're going by the same book, which is the Word of God, we should be able to be unit in unity and doing the same thing in our worship and how we are organized in the church. And we should be organized according to the church as in the Bible. The church as in the Bible. Many believe that the church started uh, in 300, 600 A.D. with the Catholic Church. But my friend, the body of Christ began at 30 A.D. on the day of Pentecost. And they followed the apostles' teachings and their doctrine. And if you're not following the apostles' teaching and their doctrine, you can't be saved. 
unless you are in the body of Christ. And not only be in the body of Christ, but live as Christ so live and be like Christ. That's all I have for you today. We want to thank you this morning for being in the audience. We almost had a late start, but we, we was all right. <laughs> we was all we was all right. And we want to thank you all for listening and being with us today. We send a invitation out this morning and you all that heard the invitation. We're so glad that you joined us and that you're listening to us live. Okay, and we thank you for being with us, and we hope that you will join us tomorrow, same time, same station. Amen and amen. We pray with me, please, our Father, which art in heaven, that loud be thy name. Thy kingdom is here, thy will is then done. Father, we just want to thank you for allowing us to bring this program to the airways, Father. We just want to thank you for allowing us to teach and preach your word this morning. We want to thank you for that privilege, Father, because it is a privilege, it is a blessing to be able to teach and to preach your word this morning. And Father, we want to pray for all of our listeners, Father. We pray that you be with them, help them through the struggles that they are going through, help them with their loss, Father. Help them to continue on looking up to you from with from which cometh of their help. Now may the grace of God speak communion of the Holy Spirit rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen. And a amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. And may God bless.